Hello and welcome back, our delicious friends. I'm here with Portuguese. Hi. Hello. We just have to wait for our forts to be ready and then we crush the Ottomans again. Yay. This would be awesome. We make them. <sighs> Jerusalem will become a fortress. Yes. Like it should be. Uh, uh. I'm so, so excited about this uh, new culture stuff with Cossacks in like two weeks. And you can not I, spread only your culture, but if you have, we have like a, a blob of cultures here, Tunisian, Berber and stuff and Songhai, and yeah. you can basically make the Tuareg and the Saharan stuff here just to make them accept it. And that's really be awesome. Mm, nice. Especially if the, th um, uh, with the mechanics from um, going tall, you don't have to grab as many land and make just some cultures accept it. It would be awesome. Persian pretender rabbits. Good luck with that. I I haven't read like the manifesto of of the the patch, but yeah. Uh, I watched this uh, one uh, with DDR Drake and Wiz, and do you have f um, factions in your country now? Mm -hmm. Like a little uh, like uh, took the Crusader King. Yeah, basically they can give land to them that um, gets the autonomy up, but you get benefits if they um have strong enough but if they are too strong you give, um, get rabbits and stuff screwed yeah <laughs> screwed yes basically yeah and it would be awesome i, I like that worst, idea worst worst thing thing on ck2 like hey my awful king died now i have an amazing kid but oh wait everyone hates the kid the little boy <laughs> have poor thoughts Okay, we're at our maximum manpower. We can uh, mothball these three fortresses. Yeah, then the north north coast. Yes, good job. Ah, this one as well in Africa because we had an uprising there. Yeah, Gabu. Do. Uh, no. Um, in Bonnie, I want the fort activated against France because I bought yeah. built a level four fortress here against France in in the in the tropics. Like, fuck you, France. <laughs> I, I you will never get us alive. But they have a lot <coughs> more hmm? fortress as well on Galabar. Yeah, it's kind of a stalemate there. Ah, not my problem. We can actually send some ships to spy on them. Let's do that. Okay, we are ready to move in on the Ottomans. We are uh, just waiting for this. Yes. So in one year, it will be ready. <laughs> Twenty-six, VR twenty-seven. Uh, okay. The Ottomans have still uprisings to the right, reactionaries actually. Persian pretender rebels. How can you see the? Oh, um, okay, we made basically uh, an alliance structure around the Ottomans with Persia, Hungary, and Russia. So they have, should be really threatened, and yeah. only Russia would help, uh, which is bad. Accepting would destabilize Hungary. Hmm, they have a truce still. Yeah. And Persia, why? Uh, because they were threatened toward us. And the truce uh, with the Ottomans against. <laughs> so, so um, they are threatened, like, towards us. But they won't go in in a war with us. Because they are threatened. Yes. Um, I take the military. Th uh. No, we, we take the next idea. Uh, actually, combat ability and discipline 5%. And we are ahead of time anyway. It's perfect. Yeah. So we finished our, our little thing, right? Or are we... Yes, the military one. Yeah. Uh, nice. and, the, and the truce, uh, Ottomans, Hungary is has ended. So they would join as well. Okay, so we can actually go to war with them at any point. Yeah. Because... The fort, we could put some troops in Jerusalem and th probably the Ottomans will just move in towards Hungary first. Now That's we have to see uh, what we can do is uh, my spy fleet here, that's three heavies, where are they? My spy fleet? Yeah, to spy on France, spy and their stupid little colony. <laughs> Please tell me that you renamed that. Oh, uh, you didn't. Uh, you should. No, you I should. will do that.
the Great Britannia. <laughs> I uh, did it. Not, it's your fault. An alliance with Great Britain. That's why I renamed it. They have no troops there, by the way. And now I want to. Okay, that's nice. Uh, uh, we get our fleet, by the way. Oops. To here, our heavies. To fight the stupid Ottomans. Do we need um um things? Galleys? Uh, we would need lots and lots of galleys too. Uh, let's check on, on on Ottomans how many how many yeah, ships they, they have. They should have a lot. They have seventy seven. Yeah, I was hoping for more. <sighs> hoping for more? Are you serious right now? Yeah. The Ottomans, the are enemies. Why are you hoping for more enemy ships? Yeah, I was hoping that they would have like one hundred galleys, but they only have a force limit of seventy six. So yeah. Get wrecked, Ottomans. If we get like 50, we should be fine. I get um, 24 galleys, and with oh. the rest of our heavies, it should be enough. Okay, good call. Uh, that moment, okay. What? Sakr al Tadzi. What? One of our advisors, Sakr al Tadzi, it's an event has mm -hmm. published the crowning achievement of his literary career. Good job. Blah, 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 the spirit of laws, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> so, uh, gain one stability and admin tech cost minus 10, mm -hmm. or gain 50 prestige, admin tech cost minus 10. Look at our... Yeah, I, I, yeah. Tech's a I'll prestige. Go for, <laughs> I'll go for prestige. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Because, yeah. But, uh, good um, job, Sakr. Yeah, <laughs> not like we need it, but... Um, um, I say we take the tech first, and then attack. And because it's decreased coring costs again by 20%. Uh, what tech? Uh, I mean tech. It's cheaper now anyway, 10%. Mm -hmm. Eastern increase over time. Ideas, okay. Ah, uh, look at our fleet. Our glorious fleet. We'll rule the seas. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, naval units. Yeah. Won't we go over our force limits? We could do that easily. It's not that ex um, expensive, actually. I did that with Austria. I had like double the ships like I had 400 ships and had only 200 force limit that paid like 8 okay. bucks or so okay then yeah it's fine Scandinavia would like an alliance with us okay we have now 4 or 5 Persia I'm still improving with because I want them not to be threatened and we could get Great Britain hmm just saying are we caught Gaboom or what? Oh, we can now missionize it. Yep. We can oh. norsify. <laughs> norsify everything. Oh, we need more claims. Jesus. You take Sidon or whatnot. Damn it, I forgot about this. Uh, claims are not that important. It's not that spares like. Yeah, it's. Five I points. Mean, I mean, that's a, still five points, but. It's useless. It's pretty helpful um, against Circassia or some, some bullshit like that. We have increased calling costs, which is kind of annoying. Is colony yeah. minus 550? What? <laughs> uh, do we have the same on Brandenburg, by the way? Is colony minus 50% calling cost? <laughs> Where? <laughs> on Brandenburg. Where is Brandenburg? <laughs> and the North, North Germany, brown blob. On an Hansa as well, I think. Yeah, it's oh, minus 50%. You <laughs> then we have to pay for Lübeck. Um, only 27 <laughs> points. <laughs> <coughs> Let's, um, hover, uh, click on the province and hover over the make core thing on a, on a foreign province. And you see the coin cost. 
Let's cheat. War score? Uh, no, on the on the plus button to core it. And it shows you the coring costs. Plus button. He has a coring button the, the, um, in the middle. There's religion, uh, culture conversion, and coring. And you hover over the coring thingy and it shows you the, the costs for it. Religion. Oh. Oh, cores and flames. Okay. Yeah, 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 fine, yeah, fine, fine. Is is colony? I, I'm still tempted to make this. I we can't make a client stay there. It's so annoying. It would be awesome. So basically, we could get all of Europe with half of the points. At least um, neighboring provinces. It seems like when you do it on Holstein, it doesn't do it because they have 300 points. And for the neighboring province, we have on 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 um, Lübeck, we have 27. <laughs> it's insane. Nice. Don't 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 question it. It's fine. Okay, we can clear the war. We lost money because events. Yeah, God. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Not not click the month. What? I I did something. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I reduced army maintenance like to the minimum. Oh, <laughs> to not fine. get a loan. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, everything is okay. Yeah. We are friends okay. here. Our ships are ready in like two or three months. I think we have, uh, should wait for that. And our fort is ready. Yep. And the one behind that is activated. Just in case. Because it takes forever to actually get, um, the people in there. We're still not full. Oh, it's, it's on max. Okay. It's only a level three fort actually. Not good. And in yeah, two months we have a lot more galleys. That should really be enough. And we're fifty five percent in, in um Sevilla. Great. Good. Yeah, we are we are beating the natives. <laughs> the natives he says. We are the natives. The natives. And we're getting 60 bucks from there. So. <coughs> Great. My cat is um, having its. Yes, cat, I love you too. He stands there uh, in the, on the floor and. Meow. What up? I have you also lieb. What is it then? Little moron. Yeah, well. Yeah, mine isn't that social. Like, sh when I get to the kitchen, she would like just roll over on the floor next to my feet. But after a while, it's just okay. It's it's. I don't need any more of this human. <laughs> um, okay. I, I, idea group. We don't have the admin efficiency yet. It's next tech. No, I took the tech, and we could. We don't go for admin tech, right? Yeah. Because we need to core stuff. And we have to pl espionage, diplomatic. We could go for espionage. I've never done espionage, and we don't need that that many diplomatic stuff. It's done. And I will. Uh, okay, we will stay on focus for admin because we need to call other shit. Mm -hmm. I hope our um, conversion die guy doesn't die because we need some. But it's fine. Uh, we could use some more money. I sent the ships to there as well. Colizing successful. Good job. Um, soon we can, by the way, go from our colonization stuff because there's nothing left to colonize. Just saying. I mean, what you want to colonize yeah, next? We yeah, we. I'll just finish up that that little spot, and then we don't. <laughs> yeah, don't have anything. To that was a thought. Like, whoops, <laughs> we ran out of space. We, we can just get rid of that. And for that, I um, I say we take. Hmm. Defensive ideas is nice. But offensive is nice as well. That's the problem. Although uh, exploration ideas gives us plus twenty five percent naval force limit. Yeah, we don't need it really. Uh, our force limit is. Uh, we didn't. Uh, yeah, it's really just that. 
<laughs> yeah, cat, calm down. Um, naval ideas, no, that's just too... I mean, naval ideas are great for Great Britain, as an example, but defensive or offensive would be really nice. I even like uh, defensive more. Not, Yeah, calm down. Jesus. Um, we get a morale boost from that, 15. Attrition from enemies. On the other hand, offensive ideas give siege ability and everything. Nice. So I will just merge navy. Merge navy. Oh, one is just... Um, who are our enemies, by the way? Uh, I need some... Everyone. <laughs> Everyone. <coughs> uh, I need some trade ships. Do we have trade ships in this freight fleet here? Yes. Uh, may I take them? Who? I will pause because I don't want the buck. Did you have 26 trade ships there? Where? On the right. Uh, in the Mediterranean. Oh, these are trade ships. Oh, okay. Uh, I've noticed that. Yeah, I will take them. Oh, what? Yeah. Yes. I. I, I and then I go privateer. And okay. Sevilla. And look at our power projection right now. Where is it? Cur where is? 44. Where is Sevilla? Here we go. Does it work? <laughs> Jesus, indeed. It gives three points. That's why I wanted to do it, you know? Due to five actions embarking in Portugal, sending privateers against France. <laughs> yeah, we had 44. How did we go to 60? Um, sending privateers against France and sending privateers against Portugal. Oh, Portugal is 10. Yeah, and another five, yes. And this is nice. just an awesome way, isn't it? And it gives three points, and that's... Also, we can um, get the next idea in a second, it's been added, yes. Embargo efficiency and privateer efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I... Like, how convenient. Huh, how convenient. <laughs> oh, we are second in total wars, uh, in total score. Nice. Now he's sitting on my on the back of my chair. It's so annoying. Here, let's get this. Look at this. Yeah. Privacy, everything. And the most important thing here is and not the diplomat, but it's nice. But uh, when you have um, spinach ideas, you need more diplomats, of, just, uh, of course. But the most amazing thing is uh, so discontent. Mm. Uh, second last in this line. And infiltrate administration means that you can see the entire country of the enemy. And that's just awesome. You can see stuff. So, um, we do yeah. want to go to war? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, what is this fleet here? That's another trade Russia ship, whatever. and Hungary, our Tartus Valley. Do you want imperialism or...? Yeah, imperialism. And also, I did... I did, I did uh, um, I built great frigates in, uh, instead of archipelago frigates or whatever. So, sorry, um, I wanted to build Galleys. Oman as a co-belligerent? Yes, um, wait a second. Uh, they have allies Ottoman and Kazakh. But Kazakh will die to Russia, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I will, I will do that. And <coughs> Oman, Russia and Hungary will join. Let's do it. Oh, Jesus. It's not uh, other guys. Oh. And yeah, let's um, retreat from Gaza. Yeah. And, and then just see what happens. And go down here. And the 37 on Mecca. Go up. Yeah, they fought this mothboard. Attack it. I am attacking. Good. And the other one too. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> what is the other one? What other one? Oh, here. Uh, I just sent him. No. It's it's fine. Don't worry about it. It will be quick. I am sending people on that one. Good. Uh, the Persians have a bit of a problem there with their pretender rebels. Yeah, they have a little bit of rebels. <laughs> nice. Two four. That's for nothing, basically. Oh, oh no, never mind. But yeah, I I still. And the fort thing? So many forts. <laughs> oh, uh, forts are amazing too, to defend yourself. Haha. <laughs> yeah, you do it. 
you are fine with it. They have 12 frigates, uh, uh, not frigates, um, the other things, galleys. 30 days for a fort, and now we are enforcing the dudes in there. It will take some while. Uh, the other ones are mothballed as well, we can go f go f right for the other forts. Do we have any leaders? Fire. Yes, we have. Yeah, put the leaders. I will go right to the Ottoman capital. They just enabled the fort. Oh, the garrison is full now. It's odd. AI stuff. Uh, okay, Hungary uh, is there. I will take the armies and just go for the forts because reasons. Yeah, go for the army. Uh, we can um, hire some military leaders. I will get at least one. Mm -hmm. And there's a siege guy. Oh no, it's too late. Oh well, not important. Those Ottomans are getting dudes, I guess. Let's look at this. Mercenaries, most likely. Yep. Um, they're not even in the list. I'm a stupid or something? Oh, yeah. Uh, I am stupid. I have to. They sh Oh, they're down there. They Oldenburg. No 40,000 only. They have only 40,000 dudes, man. Well, I think. I think these 34 are gonna go, are gonna go to the front. Because they only have, they have not that many people there. First big fight with the um, uh, Omans, by the way. Is it the 15th, the 15th death? <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My language. <laughs> I'm sorry. Louisiana declaring war on Portugal. They want independence. Freedom. Perfect. Um, okay, that has fallen as well. And then it's time for a break. All right. <laughs> and then I have to plan my military movements in Oman. This is the easiest forever. Seriously. <laughs> the army is dead. All the forts are siege. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, see you tomorrow, guys. Of course, we love you all. And thanks yeah. for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.